Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a pre-order or made-to-order product page into your Shopify website. So first is obviously you log into your Shopify website, you select the right store, and then go into your online store and then themes option. So under the themes option, jump into your customize button and in this page you should able to access all the templates in shopify including the home page the product page and collection page and the list goes on so i'm going to jump into the product page and as you can see here by default there is a one default product page that has a add to cart button now um you actually have option as well if you want to have two you know two option something like that um it's very easy to do but i don't want them to you know overwhelm them with a lot of options so i'm gonna keep that one um button only and i mean this default product template is already good to go but as i said i want to create a template just for the pre-order so this button should be pre-order not add to cart so i'm gonna um, click again this to go um menu and then go into the products and then click create template with this template we will use the default product as a basis and then i'm going to type pre-order product okay and then click create product now we do already have two product page we have default page and we also have the pre-order page now if i'm gonna okay let's just save this and let's just say the pre-order has a two button and the default product page has one button only and we're gonna change this button shortly to just pre-order but let me just show it to you the difference so again we have two templates already go back to the um to the panel and then go to the products option now let's say this one i want that to be we can just jump in select everything actually let me just do that and check the other actually not that one i created a custom field cost called custom designs um and all custom designs are pre-ordered so we're gonna select that edit and if you want to know how you can have this filter type of thing check my other tutorial i i already discussed that how you can um, do filters into your product panel so you select all the custom fields and i will change um there should be an option here to change oh this is a bummer it's actually i want to change the item the the templates to product page um to pre-order but anyway so you click the product itself and then you select instead of default product i'm gonna select pre-order save and then unfortunately i don't like this having this option i am expecting that you can do bulk order bulk update for the template but let me take a look at that probably i missed something but yeah so once you already select the correct um, template type let's see let's say we preview this to so already have we have this two um button so actually i'm gonna jump in there on the scene and this one this one has a two button which means it's a pre-order but we're gonna change this one button to just like a pre-order word and if we jump into the other page other products like head buns it's only one button okay now i'm going to change this by using a simple javascript okay so i'm gonna select that i'm going to change this button to pre-order 
So let's go back to the online store and then jump in to customize button again and go to the home page go to the product and select the pre-order products and with this i will hide the buy with the shop we don't want that we want it to be simplified as possible we don't want to confuse them and with this actually there's already a liquid button here oh there's already a liquid that i ever uh, that i created so click the add section so since there's already a liquid, there's only what I hate about Shopify. It's it's like how the modules are so limited. But if you, I'm actually gonna customize this and add more modules. Um, so um into the Shopify. So yeah. So you click this. If you don't have this custom liquid added to your template, you can just go into the add sections, and select for this. Oh, here, custom liquid. Now, I thought you can add, add more detail, add more custom liquid. But anyway, so you jump in here, and of course, I don't want to that. And then let's put the code. Let me know if you want to download this. I'll send it to my, I put it in my website. Pre-order. Um, actually, I want it to be, I want that to be caps lock. Pre-order and then save and refreshed. And here, so you have two product template already. Um, we have default template that has only add to cart button. And then we have a pre-order template. So I need to go back to other paid other products and make sure, just want to make sure that you set the right, you know, the right template use the pre-order one i really hate of not allowing me to you know to do a bulk edit for all the products but let me try to figure it out for you guys uh i will update it in my blog um if i can just do if i can do bulk edit to this product because this this is too much though um there's also templates if you don't like the code option there's also um, application there's already um, app in Shopify which allow you to just easily do a pre-order product template so just go into the Shopify store and type in pre order oops go to the settings actually and go to the app and here in the Shopify app store you type in word free order but the reason why i you, you know here there's a lot of like there's a lot of options to um change things to pre-order but the reason why i didn't use it because it's just like a very simple update and the more you add application into your shopify website the heavier your website is so as much as possible if it's not necessary just avoid using application and yeah if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out to me have a good day i'm gonna put the link description below so you can copy paste the code thank you